Let's hope this doesn't fly apart and flood my house. I've never done a test like this in person. I've made kind of a rudimentary, clear version of a thermal expansion tank. This is where your expansion tank comes in. Today's video is going to be about thermal expansion. We've got a gauge on the bottom of the tank, and right now the gauge is reading about 60 pounds of pressure. I have my house pressure in my house set to about 60 pounds of pressure. All we need to do now, we're gonna turn this on, and then we are gonna start our stopwatch. We're gonna measure how much time it takes for this gauge to start climbing. What's going to happen as this gauge gets upwards around 100 to 155 pounds of pressure, it's actually gonna force the relief valve on the water heater to open up. This valve opens up at 155 PSI or 210 degrees or a combination of the two. As we're warming up in the tank and we get close to 150 pounds of pressure, we're actually gonna see water start dribbling out of the bottom of the relief tube. Let's get at it. We've turned on our heat. We'll go ahead and start our stopwatch. And right now we are at 60 pounds. As this is heating, we're gonna compare the volume of water that was showing up in our cup to the increase in water pressure. So if you'll remember, these marks on our gauge here were minutes, right? So at two minutes, we had expanded this much, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. At 18 minutes, we had expanded almost a quart of water. At 20 to 24 minutes, we would have for sure been an entire quart of water expanded out of our 50 gallon tank. We've only been at this for about a minute and 20 seconds and we're already at 75 pounds of pressure. We started at 60 pounds of pressure. It's gonna take no time at all to build enough pressure to relieve that pressure out of our relief tube. Right there is two minutes and we are just over 80 pounds of pressure packing just this much more water into the tank from the baseline to the two minute line is enough to build the pressure in the tank from 60 pounds to 80 pounds. We're passing 90 pounds already. All right, we're closing in on four minutes. We just passed four minutes and we are 105 PSI. Now we've, at four minutes, we've now put this much extra water into the tanks. It's resulted in 105 PSI. So that's an increase of 45 pounds of pressure just after four minutes of heating. This valve connected to this relief pipe opens up at approximately 155 pounds of pressure. And right, here we are closing in on six minutes. We've added this much water. So probably about a pint of water to the tank. So we're now 50 gallons and one pint probably. And our pressure gauge is a little over 130 pounds of pressure. We're already seeing the indicators that we are not going to be able to make it to the 16 to 18 minute mark. It's understandable. This is a steel tank. There's no way you're going to get that steel to stretch as far as it would need to, to include this much more water. And this is why you have a relief valve here. When that relief valve opens up, it's because we've built so much pressure in there, it can't hold anymore. We are nearing in on 150 pounds of pressure, barely seven minutes into this. It's probably gonna open up before the eight minute mark, which would have been about here on our volume gauge. Just passing 150 right now. There it goes. So right now, our relief valve on the water heater just operated perfectly and it dropped our pressure all the way down, which is good, that's what we want. The reason this relief valve is here is if this relief valve weren't here, that pressure would keep building and keep building and keep building and eventually our water heater would explode. Do us a favor and throw a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Share this amongst your colleagues if you're a plumber and you think this was a really good informational video. And if you're a homeowner and you wanna learn more about all things plumbing within your home, 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel because that's the whole purpose of this channel is to show you everything we can do with plumbing and just how fun it is to start and run a small plumbing company in the middle of America.